Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey and Paul here on March 26th, Thursday at 18.20 in the evening. Now Paul's having a bit of a sandwich here. We've been sitting here watching a little YouTube. I got the munchies. Well, of course you got the munchies. Hell, it's, it's evening, it's time to eat. You know, we basically only eat once a day, so yeah, so of course it's time to eat. What the hell? No need to apologize. Now, the conundrum I was elucidating yesterday about the the uh, the Palm Sunday narration has been settled. Uh, I'm going to be the narrator now. It's interesting. We're going to do we're going to do it somewhat differently as it's uh, they're going to split the gospel reading into. Uh, you know, so do, do the gospel up to the Last Supper during the gospel time, and then at the end, after the last hymn, uh, we're going to finish it up. Uh, and then we will then leave the nave in silence as we move into Holy Week. If you have any questions, just let me know. So that's an interesting way to handle it. Uh, I have no problems with that. I mean, there's the cast of characters. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I, uh, I've been a busy lad today in terms of, uh, well, interneting and things. Now, uh, I did find the Passion According to Mark, uh, uh, you know, in the narration style, which I think is the, what will be what we're going to be doing. So I can practice my part. You know, I'm narrator, and then uh, I I don't want to put this on the computer too long because it gets it too hot. You now you got this, and then it's a six-page thing, and then uh, I'm I don't know exactly where the break points will be. Um, well, last supper. So, uh, I think I think what she means is that we'll go through uh, uh, through this part. You know, they began they became they began to become distressed and said, "It's not I." And while they were eating, he took a loaf of bread and says, "Take this. This is my body." And then took a cup, says, "Drink from it." He said to them. Uh, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I tell you, I will never again drink of the food of the body. He hasn't, you know, the institution narrative is not nearly as complete in uh, Mark as it is in Luke. And then, and then it says, when they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And I think, I think this is where we'll, you know, this point will be where we start the part that comes before we all leave leave the church uh, we've never done it this way before it'll be interesting to see how it works out uh, I have no sort of you know philosophical problem with doing it this way at all actually um, I can't well it doesn't matter I can't get the thing these papers tend to stick together but uh, so I'll be able to rehearse properly the Passion According to Mark. That comes from the lectionary website that he's dropping it. And uh, so, <clears throat> and then, uh, well, I, I also had downloaded it earlier, but I didn't know, you know, it's hard, it's hard to know where they're going to do a break point, but this is, this is the kind of, this is the, this is the outfit that provides us with the stuff we use in our liturgy. So. Paul's on the move. God bless him. Now, uh, this was also uh, kind of a, a busy taxi day. I haven't bothered to cover up my printer yet which I need to do. I use my covers here to print, cover them up. 
but I, I did do my tax forms. I did complete everything, both state and uh, federal. So, printed off address labels here, you know. Uh, so, you know, things are on the move here. We'll, we'll get things done here. And... Uh, So it's not been a bad day here today on the Island of Peace. We've had uh, we had rain up until about uh, well we had rain if you want to be technical about up to about just about an hour and a half ago, but it was sprinkles for about the last three hours before that, so. But, uh, you know, it's 37-ish, 38-ish, you know. It's cold. It's a cold day. You know? Well, it's a cool day. It's not a cold day. It's not like, not like it was. <laughs> okay. Paul's going to get, Paul's going to go out on a deck. Have a smoke. Yeah. It's best to go. Eat twenty something tonight. Yeah, I have to, have to turn off the mid grade heater here later on tonight. I don't know why. I almost, I almost put that, the, I almost put that bed boy away. I'm glad I didn't. Needs to not go into the twenties anymore for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like to. Next season. I'll tell you, I'd far rather be in the 20s than the damn fucking 90s. Well, I don't want it to go that high. Well, it's I I tolerate cold weather a lot better than that really extreme hot stuff. Although it's nice to walk around almost naked in the hot stuff. Yeah, well, I don't want extreme hot I know, you don't like to walk around naked in the hot stuff, but I do. Yeah. I do it when you're not at home. No, I do. There. I do it when you're at home. I walk around naked on the deck sometimes. A lot. A lot. Yeah. You could join me, but you don't like to do that. Anyway. I'll be back, guys. That's Marlboro. Show the package. Maybe, maybe, we'll get, maybe we'll get sponsorship. Oh, it's a camel. I'm sorry. What did I say? Oh, I was thinking of my son. Oh, camel. Camel hundreds, camel ninety nines. Yeah, no, my son smokes Marlboros or did or does yeah, occasionally. Yeah, Marlboro Light. Maybe three. Of, no, he doesn't smoke Marlboro Light. No, he's not a woman. Kelly does. Well, I don't. Well, she's a woman, so I I can't speak to her issue. Back. Have fun. Be careful. Don't fall off the porch. Now, when I say <clears throat> don't fall off the porch, I'm very serious because he he had until probably uh, it's been it's it's been a few years now, but he had a habit of sitting on that porch rail. I thought he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna fall off that porch. I mean, he's gonna fall off that porch. He's gonna break his neck. I mean, because that's a, it's a almost a twenty foot drop off that porch to the ground. And certainly, uh, it's certainly about a 16, 17 foot drop. Uh, he's gonna drop off that porch, and uh, Delaware County. Sheriff and the prosecutor's going to come out here and say, oh, these two gay guys got into an argument and, you know, I knocked him off the porch. And I always said, look, if we stop sitting on that porch rail because I don't want to go in front of the Delaware Grand Jury and have to go to trial, you know, for something I didn't do and wouldn't do. I never had any desire to do. I mean, I mean there's a lot of a lot of times people live with somebody that they might want to do something to them, but that's never, that's never been the case with me. I mean, I mean, Paul's got a lot of 
the habits that annoy the crap out of me, but I would never want to do any sort of physical violence to it. I've done a lot of physical violence, you know, to objects next to him, but not to him. When I could just have easily done it to him, and I, no, that's not, no, no, no. Uh, so he, somewhere along the line, he stopped doing that. So I, you know, I, I can only conclude that he must have gotten scared on his own. Because I'm sure it had nothing to do with anything I said to him. Uh, so he must have almost fallen off and realized it and stopped doing it because he stopped doing that. He, there was a time where he sort of flirted with it, but then he would sort of catch himself and, you know, back off from the rail, you know. Yeah, it's one of those things when you're traveling over in, in European countries and you're in these historical sites and they've got these little tiny ass rails you know don't don't lean on the rails guys those rails are sort of like the last to raw for you know, you know but don't don't use them as a support while you're traveling around you know you know stay upright stay upright at all costs when I say at all costs that's what I mean oh he's in from his smoke now was it a good cigarette? Yeah. Good. Well, I mean, given what you pay for it, it ought to be a damn good cigarette. And it's 36 outside. Well, 36. Well, okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nothing. People like to see you. We get more views when you're on the videos. Sometimes. And then sometimes we get less views when you're in the videos. So I, it's hard to tell. I just don't like the cold. <laughs> it sucks. Well, I, I kind of like the cold, but not like extreme cold. I mean, I don't like this below 20 cold. I like it to warm up, back up some, and get some of the animals. I bet, I bet the Scott party would have liked it to have been a little bit warmer, given that they were down there in there the worst, should. in the worst, worst stre stretch of hour. stretch of winter in Antarctic history that they've been able to record since that time. You know, given the statistics. Yeah, and they froze to death too. Now, that's what I always like to say when I go out to take a leak. I'm going out just now, and I may be gone for quite some time. God bless Captain Oates, huh? Yeah. Read all of the, read all of the, read all of the Huntsford books about, about that, that Arctic exploration and expeditions and, He was know, a doctor in the group, wasn't he? Who Oates? Yeah. No, he was uh, he was a cavalry captain, or uh, you know, he was. No, the doc, the doc, no, the doctor lived. He stayed back at the base. Uh, I can't remember his name, but read the, read the Huntsford book, uh, Scott and the Munson. You know, my UK friends won't like the take on it, but. It, my, my, the one guy I know in Norway will like the take on that. <laughs> great, great book, great book. And uh, well, he's also written a, a, a biography of Nansen and, uh, and read, and read Scott's books, you know, South, and then read uh, uh, Cherry Gerard, or, or Gerard Cherry or Cherry Gerard. The, the longest or the worst journey in the world. Read read all that stuff, and then and then the fellows from about the boat journey with and then this uh, the fellow has the photographs. Ah, when uh, the second expedition, uh, you know the endurance expedition. You've got to read. That. I mean, you've got to look for this endurance expedition stuff. It's. I mean, that's that's why we named our our last dog Shackleton. You know, 
Absolutely. Shackled him. What a fucking man. I'm starting to cry. No, but it's because of the dog and the guy. One of the expeditions, their ship was crushed by the ice. Well, that's what we're talking about, the endurance expedition. 